representing data on a bar graph. In this module, you will represent data on a bar graph. Neil is reading the newspaper. He sees a table representing rainfall in centimeters in New Delhi from July to December. Neil shows this table to his mother and says that in the month of October, the rainfall is the maximum and in the month of November, the rainfall is the minimum. Now his mother asks him, can you represent this data in pictorial form? Neil replies, yes, it can be represented in the form of pictograph and bar graph. I can draw a pictograph, but I don't know how to draw a bar graph. His mother replies, I will explain how to draw a bar graph. Draw a horizontal line and a vertical line on a square paper as shown. We represent the rainfall on the vertical axis. Here, one square box represents one centimeter of rainfall. Similarly, two square boxes will represent two centimeters of rainfall, and so on. We represent months on the horizontal axis as months. Now shade the bars according to the data given. In the table, the month of July receives 7 cm of rainfall, so we shade the boxes up to 7. The month of August receives 5 cm of rainfall, so we shade the boxes up to 5. The month of September receives 4 cm of rainfall, so we shade the boxes up to 4. The month of October receives 8 cm of rainfall. So we shade the boxes up to 8. The month of November receives 3 cm of rainfall. So we shade the boxes up to 3. The month of December receives 4 cm of rainfall. So we shade the boxes up to 4. While drawing bars, keep the width of all the bars uniform. Keep uniform distance between the bars throughout. Thus, we obtain a bar graph. Let's recap. Bar graph is a pictorial representation in which data are represented by the rectangular bar. While drawing bars, keep the width of all the bars uniform. Keep uniform distance between the bars throughout.